Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about question number fifth. In our last video, we have discussed total four question, and now we are going to discuss fifth number question. And each question bears three marks. So the fifth question is okay. Four m minus two n is equals to minus four. Four m plus three n is equals to sixteen. And we have to solve this equation by using Cramer's rule. So first of all, we are going to write a one, a two, b one, b two, and c one, c two. First of all, if we are going to consider this equation number one, then a one is equals to positive four. A two is equals to Or else, we are going to write first a one b one c one. So b one is equals to minus two, and c one is equals to minus four. A two is equals to plus four. B two is equals to plus three, and c two is equals to sixteen. We know. D is equals to a one a two b one b two means four four minus two three cross multiplication four into three minus two into four minus two into four so. Here we are going to write four into three minus minus two into four. So the answer four three is a twelve minus minus eight two four is a eight. So twelve plus eight is equals to twenty. We get the value of D is equals to twenty. We are going to write here. D is equals to twenty. Now we are going to find the value of d x. We know c one, c two, b one, b two is equal to minus four sixteen minus two three. Then cross multiplication minus four into sixteen. Minus minus two into four into three and two into sixteen. So minus four into three is equals to minus twelve. Minus two sixteen is a thirty two minus thirty two, but we get minus twelve plus thirty two. Means we get the value of d x is equals to positive twenty. Again, we get the value of d x is equals to positive twenty. D is equals to positive twenty. And now we are going to find the value of d y. So d y is equals to a one, a two, c one, c two. So the value of a is four, four, a one, a two, and c one, c two minus four and positive sixteen. So the cross multiplication is four into sixteen minus minus four into four. So four into sixteen is equals to sixteen four is a sixty four minus minus four four is a sixteen minus sixteen means. Sixty four plus sixteen is equals to eighty. Means we get the value of d y is equals to eighty. Now we are we have the value of d x d d x d and d y. We know d y is equals to eighty. So we are going to find the value of x and y here. 
सो डिवाइ इज इक्व टू एटी नाउ एक्स इज इक्व टू डी एक्स अपॉन डी मीन्स ट्वेंटी अपॉन ट्वेंटी इज इक्व टू वन पॉजिटिव वन मीन्स वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज इक्व टू पॉजिटिव वन वाई इज इक्व टू डी वाई अपॉन डी मीन्स एटी अपॉन ट्वेंटी इज इक्व टू ट्वेंटी वन जो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर जो एटी सो फोर इयर मीन्स वी गेट द सोल्यूशन एक्स एंड वाई इज इक्व टू वन एंड फोर नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स सॉल्व नाइंटी नाइन एक्स प्लस वन हंड्रेड एंड वन वाई इज इक्व टू फोर हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी नाइन वन हंड्रेड एंड वन एक्स प्लस नाइन्टी नाइन वाई इज इक्व टू फाइव हंड्रेड एंड वन दिस वेर द टू इक्वेशन्स एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we are going to number the equation this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 first of all we are going to add equation 1 and 2 adding equation 1 and equation 2 we get 99x plus 101y is equals to 499 plus 101x Plus ninety nine y is equals to five hundred and one. Why we are adding this equation? Because we know that the value of x is here, and the same value in the second equation contains y, and same the value in the first equation which have y. It is the value of x in the second equation. So what we are going to do? We are going to add first both equation and then we are going to subtract it. Now what happened? Nine plus one, ten. Nine plus one, ten. Five plus five, ten. Means one thousand. One plus nine, ten. One plus nine, ten. And two means two hundred y plus two hundred x. Means if we are going to divide this equation by two hundred, we know here the common term is two hundred. Means if we are going to divide this term or this equation number three by two hundred, then we get the simplest form of the equation. Means x plus y is equals to five. So x plus y is equals to five. This was the simplest form of the equation. Now, as it is, we are going to add equation. we are going to subtract equation 1 and equation number 2 this was our equation number 4 now we are going to subtract it 99x plus 101y is equals to 499 we are going to write the equations 101x plus 99y is equals to 500 One. This is the given equation. If we are going to subtract equation one and two, the sign of the given equation becomes opposite to their original value. Means already they have given us positive one hundred and one, but it becomes negative when we are subtracting it. Okay. Now we get if we are going to subtract five hundred and one from four ninety nine, then we get. Two value is two, but the bigger number have negative sign, so minus two over here, and here positive two plus two y and minus two x. If we are going to multiply this equation or divide this equation by two, then we get the simplest form minus x plus y is equals to. Minus one. This was the simplest form of the equation, and we are going to call it as a equation number fifth. Now we get equation number one x plus y is equals to five, and equation number fifth number fifth equation minus x plus y is equals to minus one. Simply we are going to add equation one and two, and we are going to Simply, we are going to add this both equation. Then we are going to get five minus one is equals to positive four plus x minus x get cancelled, and two y means we get the value of y 
फोर अपॉन टू टू वन जा टू 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 जा फोर सो द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल्स टू टू एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इन इक्वेशन नंबर फर्स्ट टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स As we know, x plus y is equals to five. We are going to substitute the value of y in this equation. X plus two is equals to five. Then x is equals to five minus two. Then x is equals to positive three. The value of x and y is three and two. So the value of x and y means x and y is equals to three and two, respectively. Now we are going to discuss about question number seven. The length of the rectangle. The length of the rectangle is five more than twice its breadth. The perimeter of a rectangle is fifty-two centimeter. Then find the length of the rectangle. As we know, according to condition, first of all we are going to consider the length and the breadth of the rectangle suppose we are going to consider length is equals to x and x cm and breadth is equals to y cm then according to the first condition the length of the rectangle is phi more than the twice its breadth the length of the rectangle is phi more than the more than twice its breadth means x is equals to twice the breadth means 2y more than 5 means plus 5 this was the equation means we are going to make it as a standard form of equation then x minus 2y is equals to 5 we get equation number 1 according to second condition they have told us The perimeter of rectangle is fifty-two centimeter. Then find the length of the rectangle. Means we can write two x minus sorry two x plus two y is equals to fifty-two. They have given the perimeter of rectangle means twice length plus twice breadth is equals to fifty. Two. Now we know the perimeter of the rectangle is fifty-two. So we are going to write this equation: two x plus two y is equals to fifty-two. And our first equation is x minus two y. X minus two y is equals to five. Means we are going to sub add this equation. So two y and minus two y get cancelled. Means we get three x is equals to fifty seven. X is equals to fifty seven upon three. Then three ones are three, and three nineteen is a fifty seven. Means we get the value of x, and just we have to find the value of x. Means the length of rectangle they have asked in the question. Find the length of the rectangle. So the length of rectangle is x centimeter. And if you want to find the length, uh, sorry, measurement of breadth, then we are going to substitute the value of x in this equation. So we are going to take one equation that x minus two y is equals to five, and we are going to substitute the value of x means nineteen in this equation. Nineteen minus two y is equals to Five. So what we get here, two y is equals to five minus nineteen, and minus minus two y is equals to minus fourteen. And this two is in multiplied form. When we are going to shift, it become positive minus fourteen upon minus two means two ones are two, two sevens are fourteen. Value of y is equals to positive. Seven. Our next question is question number eight. The graph of the equation two x minus y minus four is equals to zero, and 
x plus y plus 1 is equals to 0 intersects each other in point P, A, B. Point A and B. Then find the coordinates of point P. Means, first of all, we are going to write an equation here. 2x minus y minus 4 is equals to 0. Then we are going to make a chart. x y and x y so we have to solve the equations if we are going to consider the value of x is equals to 0 then what we get 2x minus y minus 4 is equals to 0 if x is equals to 0 means minus y is equals to plus 4 means y is equals to minus 4 so the value of y is minus 4. If we consider x is equals to 0, then the value of y is equals to minus 4. If we consider x is equals to 2, means if we consider x is equals to 2, we get the value 2 into 2 minus y minus 4 is equals to 0, means 2 to the 4 minus y minus 4 means positive 4 and negative 4 get cancelled is equals to 0 means minus y is equals to 0 or plus y is equals to 0 means if we consider x is equals to 2 then y is equals to 0 2 and 0 next if we consider x is equals to 3 2 into 3 then what we get 2 3 is a 6 minus y minus 4 is equals to 0. This 4 if going to shift that then becomes positive. Minus y is equals to 4 minus 6 then minus y is equals to minus 2 and y is equals to positive 2. If we are going to consider x is equals to 3 then y is going to be 2. 3 2. Now again if we are going to consider x is equals to 4 then what is the value of y? If we are going to consider x is equals to 4, 2, 4 minus y minus 4 is equals to 0, 2, 4 is 8 minus y minus 4 means positive 8 becomes positive 4 because we subtract minus 4 from it. Minus y is equals to 0. Then y is equals to. When we are going to shift this. It becomes negative 4. So if we consider x is equals to positive 4. Then the y becomes negative 4. 4 and negative 4. This was the point for equation number 1 and now the equation number 2 x plus y plus 1 is equals to 0. Equation is x plus y plus 1 is equals to 0 means we can write x plus y is equals to minus 1 means we are going to make a chart here again x y and x y now we are going to consider the value of x and we are going to find the value of y the equation is x plus y is equals to minus 1 if we are going to consider x is equals to 0 means x is equals to 0 then what is the value of y so y is equals to minus 1 means the coordinates are 1 0 and minus 1 next if we consider x is equals to 1 then 1 plus y is equals to minus 1 then y is equals to minus 1 minus 1 then y is equals to minus minus get plus and minus sign means minus 2. So we are going to write if x is equals to 1 then y is equals to minus 2. Same 1 and minus 2 other coordinates. 
again if you are going to consider x is equals to positive 2 now if we consider x is equals to 2 then we have to find the value of y so we are going to find the value of y if x is equals to 2 so we know x plus y is equals to minus 1 so if x is equals to 2 plus y is equals to minus 1 so y is equals to minus 1 minus 2 y is equals to minus 3 so we are going to write here minus 3 if x is equals to 2 then y is equals to minus 3 again if we are going to consider x is equals to minus 1 means x is equals to minus 1 x is equals to minus 1 then x plus y is equals to minus 1 then minus 1 is equals to minus 1 plus y is equals to minus 1 then y is equals to minus 1 plus 1 then y is equals to 0 if we consider x is equals to minus then y is equals to 0 so these are the coordinates and when we are going to plot these values and this value on a graph we get the point P or the solution is P1 and minus 2 means the point intersection is 1 and minus 2 where A is equals to 1 and B is equals to minus 2. In this video we have discussed question number 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th and in our next video we are going to discuss about question number 9, question number 10 and question number 11. So thank you friends for watching my video.